I think you'll find a lot of countries around the world, Russians, Russians are, in, are, are, are involved in, in figure skating. They're, 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 they're absolutely the, the uh, number one country. In, in terms of what decisions each national federation might make, especially our uh, federation for, for ice skating, they probably have to be very careful about making, making, ma making, making sure that their athletes end up, end up training with the right coaches. The athletes are very much people first and their and 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 their sports people second so 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 when a young person especially underage person hasn't hasn't met their own expectations hasn't hasn't met what they perceive to be the expectations of others we we i mean any anyone involved in sport really really needs to look after those young people i think china will become stronger in a number of different sports and unfortunately i think some of them will be the ones that we do I think it'll be more in half pipe. I think it'll be aerials. They're, they're strong now. They've, they've, they've won both the men and women's competition. They've been the number one team for, for a good number of years. But, uh, but I think in some of the more traditional sports, they will, they, they will start to put the, some very good programs in place and they, sh they should improve over time.